is Stan Williams. I'm a senior solution engineer at Sauce Labs. And today I want to show you how to set the pass fail status of your tests. This page is the test results section of the Sauce Labs UI. And as you can see, tests are marked with a red exclamation point when they have failed, and they are marked with a black checkbox when they have passed. I do this by taking the assertion, that's how every test should end, is with an assertion, and sending that to Sauce Labs as pass or fail. The method we use for doing this is the JavaScript executor. This is a Selenium and Appium extension that allows you to execute JavaScript from within your test. So let's take a look at the code for that now. The highlighted line of code here is the assertion that ends a test. What I'm doing is comparing the result of is on homepage to true. In other words, the method is on homepage is simply checking to ensure that the URL of the page in the test matches what we expect to see. So because this is in an assertion statement, the assertion is being set to the value of result dot is passed. So let's take a look at how we turn that into the status on Sauce Labs. This highlighted method is the after method. It runs at the end of a new test within this suite. And as you can see, it's using the JavaScript executor to call the Sauce Labs script Sauce Job Result. And it's passing in result.isSuccess. If result.isSuccess is true, we're passing in the value pass. If it's false, we're passing in the value failed. That's all there is to setting the status. But there are a couple of implementation steps to make sure your code is ready to go. Let's take a look at those now. Down in the implementation section, you can see that step one, we already discussed, it's to make sure that your test ends with an assertion. Step two is to make sure that you've imported the JavaScript executor library into your code. The example here is from Java, but this is available in all of the languages that support Selenium testing. And then finally, the third step is to use your teardown method, ideally, that's a best practice, to call the JavaScript executor and set the status. That's all there is to it, but we do have a detailed explanation of this on our wiki uh, and in our cookbook. So search for Sauce Labs Set Status Pass Fail, and you will come up with this page, which walks you through the process of setting the pass fail status as I've done today. Thanks for your time. I hope this was helpful.